Hello YouTube, today on Danko Helps I'm going to show you how to download, create and install Sfax Pure BDCraft for Feed the Beast Unleashed. Now, first thing you want to do is go to bdcraft.net, uh, get it and download the vanilla um, touchback for 1.5.2 because that's a version of Minecraft that Feed the Beast Unleashed runs on. Um, what res you get is dependent on what res is the pack supports um, the patch supports even the this one I found does 128 and 64 so uh, I'm going to go with 128 now I've already downloaded that so that's fine just go to my downloads um, and you want to download the patch and get the same res as the vanilla you, you you want them to be the same res now the thing is with creating touch backs for modded clients you need to combine vanilla and the patch and the patch contains all the textures for the mods so um, it's got all the all the mods like Steve Scott and Gravity Gun and stuff like this you know it's just it's for the mods now to combine them you're going to need some sort of archiving software. I use WinRAR. If you haven't already got that, just go to Google, download it, install it. I don't have any problems with it. I find it useful. So I recommend getting it if you're going to be doing this kind of thing often. Um, or at all really, if you need some sort of archiver. Now just select everything from the Unleashed, um, the patch, and drag it into the vanilla and that will extract it, which is what it's doing now and then copy it into here just click OK when that window pops up, you don't need to change anything uh, so it's got to extract it and recompress it back into the zip file so that's why it takes, takes some time close those, so now in the vanilla one you've got you've got the modded texture pack, you can rename it if you want now go to your Feed the Beast directory, I've installed mine on my terabyte hard drive um, by default it's in your documents so, uh, so just go to your directory, you'll find the Unleashed folder Minecraft texture packs and just put it in there so now when you go to Feed the Beast and launch it, you should have the texture pack available once it loads up of course um, as you might notice, it takes a while to load up uh, modded clients, especially once you add the 128 texture pack as well, it takes even longer because it loads up all the textures. Can be uh, can be a bit annoying. So just wait for that. Ah. By the way, because this is uh, Danko Helps, the aim of the channel is to take um, take people's ideas from comments or messages or whatever, and create videos on that. Um, so if you want something, if you want to know how to do something, just post a comment. And I'll I'll try and make a video on it. Right. So as you can see now, I go into Touch Packs. I can have Sfax. Click that. Take a while to load. Um, also, I just want to mention. So not going to let me, no, that's another awkward thing about this, you can't, I think you can open other stuff like that, but you can't show the desktop by doing that, um, so I'll wait for that to load, and say so post a comment, so yeah, now I've got facts, and um, most of the textures are here, um, if you go to the patch um, link which I'll put in the description by the way or an annotation or something uh, it says down here in the credits um, these are the mods that it supports so it's got almost all of the uh, the textures but some of them are, some of them are kind of not included or they can find them or who knows so anyway also this is a BAT file, I use it to run it with more RAM, but I'll post a link for a video explaining those in the description. 
Um, so that's about it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be just facts. You can Google it for other texture packs. Um, and in the feed, the Beast Launcher, um, they've got the texture packs tab. Um, they haven't yet supported Feed the Beast Ultimate with uh, with any of these. I don't think. But I think support will be added for some texture packs, and they're continuing to add texture packs. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Post a comment, like, tell your friends, whatever. If anybody needs any help, I'll try and make a video. Just post a comment. Uh, thank you. Bye.